Hey guys, I'm going to make a very simple point. It is the Saturday right after the release of Masters 25. What is Masters 25? It is a very expensive set. The MSRP is $240. And it is to celebrate. It's a celebration of Magic being around for 25 years. So normally when you think about a celebration, you think about, oh, a customer celebration. We're going to appreciate our customers by producing a really awesome product. There are images of the product being miscut. I received images from su subscribers. The, there's ink blots. The randomization still seems to be an issue. And you can argue this and you could say it's a conspiracy and it's one in every 10,000 boxes, but what you cannot argue is a price. I know if a set is valuable and powerful and wanted and in demand based on the single price. Now if these single prices and, and particularly the mythics, now you do have exceptions. You have constant Tark here with the five fetch lands. They really skew the prices. Uh, those five fetch lands are far more valuable than any of the mythics in the set. You have the shock lands, which to a lesser extent is true for RTR. And of course, in this set, you have the filter lands. You have the enemy fetch lands in the Masters, Modern Masters 2017, which did skew the value. This is not impressive. So when you think about a celebration, we are celebrating getting fleeced. The expected value on this set is terrible, and I don't care who is trying to sell you this box. It's not good. So you have the five filter lands. You do have, I mean, you have some okay rares and okay uncommons, but for the most part, man, prices are tanking. Uh, it's the Saturday. It's a few hours since most people got their product and started opening. These prices have not hit rock bottom yet. And even then, let's talk about Master of the Hunt, Gisela, Doomsday, Armageddon, Acroma, Acroma number two, Tree Redemption, and Pross. These are mythics. Eight of the mythics, there's only 15 of them, are under $5. Very soon, they will be under $4. They could possibly, depending on how Gisela does, and Master of the Wild Hunt isn't exactly a desired card, they could all be under $3 before the weekend is over. Let me restate this again. The Mythics, uh, this is not a case where we have fetch lands, we have filter lands. They're $10 a piece, I mean, break even. But we don't have, and we do have Rishon Port. But the mythics just feel bad. I know people have the tree of redemption. You know, if you get a tree of redemption, the store will exchange that pack for you. Well, there's a card that's worth less than tree of redemption as of now. And I don't see this going well in terms of value. I don't see any of these cards being really a four of. Yeah, you do have Jace, but Jace is not putting up results. Hence this dip to under 100. The spread of this is just outrageously, whoever designed, like it's not a designer, right? A designer, you might say, oh, well, they didn't know. These people knew the prices beforehand and the, some of these cards may have been selected solely on price. So when you have Imperial Recruiter and everyone's going insane about that card, that card's gonna tank the most. In ED8, it's played, yes, and it's nice that we all have one. But man, I would not, um, I would not say that this is some type of legacy staple. And that's the problem with these master sets, these iconic and eternal. They're just going to be reprinted into oblivion. As a celebration, this celebration sucks as much as the 10-year anniversary. I remember the 10-year anniversary. I was in middle school. It was the 10th edition with the little the X. And everyone got a free rare Dawnbringer. And we're like, yeah, that's awesome. Because we didn't know better. It was just an angel, right? And it was foil. So it was like, yeah, everyone got one. 
And that was not a good concept. This is, in terms of value, in terms of expected value for a $240 MSRP box, it's really awful. And you haven't even seen the prices plummet. I look at the cards, I look at the Mythics, and none of them I would ever speculate on. There are terrible, terrible speculations and I can see them plumbing for the next two to three months, and I don't see where to bottom. Even when they bottom, by the time they recover a tiny bit, they'll just be reprinted again. In 30, 30 years of Magic Anniversary. So part of the reason this set is so bad is we had Jace as the chase card in a recent Eternal Master set, which, if you remember that set, we also had Bloodbraid Elf, and I would actually rather have a box of that set than this one. And that's saying a lot because Eternal Masters did not, or they did not do very well. And then it was reprinted a second time, so people got hosed again. If you want to open a box for fun, I mean, I like opening boxes for fun. There's some boxes that I would recommend opening based on price. If you really have an addiction, Dragon Mace is very good because it's always cheap and sometimes you can get a shock land. And that kind of makes up for the whole value of a Dragon Mace fat pack and is a good experience nonetheless. Um, and even Eldritch Moon, uh, I opened a Eldritch Moon and a Dragon Mace fat pack, which I did record. I remembered, I remembered to record them. And, you know, Eldritch Moon was actually okay. I bought it for 20 bucks. I kind of broke even. But there is the Collective Brutality at Rare, and there's Liliana the Hope. There is one card which you can recoup all the value, the cash value of the Fat Pack at retail. Here there's none, unless you're talking about foils, right? And foils are just kind of random to begin with. You know, people, like, I don't get it. Like, when they would say, oh, Magic Origins is a really good set. We should all invest in Magic Origins. We should all invest in Hours of Devastation. We should all invest in Journey into Nyx. Like, these are things people have said, and they're not correct. Because the price, if you want to know how popular that is, how much in demand it is, there's a lot of variance, but a very good indication is the price of the Mythics. If 8 of your 15 Mythics are below $5, not even $4.50, that is a really bad sign when you're charging $10 a boost a pack. It's okay if you're charging, let's say, $6 or $7. I think the original Mod Masters was, was like $5.99 or $6.99 a pack, which at the time seemed expensive, but it made sense. Now, no, nobody's paying, nobody's really paying $9.99 a pack here. Well, I, I hope they're not if they're watching this channel. Regardless, the price is always the truth. If you want to know, if you want to get past all this BS and the salesy people who want to sell you stuff, just look at the price. Look at the price of the singles. Look at the expected value. And if it is not good the Saturday after release, you're in a. It's going to be not good for a while. You're looking at 60, 90 days before these cards bottom out, and already. This is, I don't have more screenshots to show you because I don't think I need to show you anything else. I just need to show you this. I, I don't, this was a disaster. This was a disaster. The ink, the card quality is still low. There's ink splotting. There is, uh, the, the edges are not correct. And some, I've seen images of it where the, it's miscut. And, it may not even be randomized, which is a big deal. But at the end of the day, those are small things compared to the cards inside them. Getting a Tree of Redemption is not the worst card you can get in the set. And I don't think Tree of Redemption, I think we see cards under a dollar soon. A Mythic under a dollar and a $10 booster pack is outrageous in my opinion it's something that should never happen and especially for a celebration set 
I believed that the set would be amazing because we're celebrating 25 years of magic. But the prices do not say that. The prices clearly indicate that set eight of the cards chosen were very poor choices. Now, you might talk about flavor and all this. Yeah, you can have like, what, five cards? You can have 33% the card pull for Mythics be about flavor. But when more than half of your Mythics are trash, I don't know what to say. Like, these are retail prices. The buy list on these things aren't, aren't even a quarter. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.